the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. When the church is preparing us to reach out to the uh, Feast of the Pentecost, and of course before that, we are celebrating the Feast of the Ascension this coming Thursday. The church is telling us, by all means, it's time to see what Jesus has done for each and every one of us. It's the whole Sundays we're telling us we need to have faith, we need to see Christ as the bread of life, he is the living water, he is the light of the world. And today, the church is telling us Christ is the way. And when we speak about Christ as the way, I would like to share with you a couple of passages from the scriptures, and then one sentence we pray it at the fraction at the very end of the liturgy. So today Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going and how can we know the way? When we are missing the way, we are looking for a map or a GPS nowadays. But Christ was telling us, don't seek the map, seek the person. If you know the person, if you are in this person, you will miss a, never miss out this way into heaven. And then we ask ourselves this morning, are we coming to church to do some rituals, to attend the liturgy? It's a blessing to be in the church on a Sunday morning every week, especially after this pandemic, or I'm coming to meet the person. In many occasions, all of us, we ask, I, I want to know his will. But there's a more important question. Do you want to know him? Or you want to know his will? You want a map. You don't need the person. But the church day is telling us, Philip was, has, had the same mindset. Show me the way. We don't know the way. We don't know where you are going. Then Jesus was telling them, abide with me. It's about being in Christ, not having a map. It's the scriptures are showing us how to walk in the person, not only how to deal with things. That's why he came to transform our life into his Christ likeness. Jesus answered and said, Jesus said to him, I am the way. Don't look for a map, but look for the person himself. The truth, again, don't look to knowledge. Find out the truth that will set you free, as he said in John chapter 8, and the life. Yes, you might find a good map or a good GPS to show you the way, but you are dead. You need the life. You need the truth. You need to, be, to abide in the person who is himself the way. No one comes to the Father except through me. So if we abide in, in, in Christ, we have the way to the Father. We can ascend with him on the Feast of Ascension, and we can abide with him eternally in his kingdom. The church is encouraging us to know the person and to be united with the person. Why the summit of our worship is the liturgy? Because in the end, I'm going to be one with Christ. Then the whole journey, I am in the way, I am in the truth, I am in the life. We hear today from the Pauline epistle. St. Paul was telling us, therefore, brethren, having boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Great. How? He's telling us in verse 20, by a new and living way. It's not a map anymore. It's Christ. What is this new living way which he consecrated for us through the veil that is his flesh? Through his incarnation, we received oh, everything. He became the... St. Paul tells us in his epistle to, the, uh, to his disciple, Timothy, that we have one mediator between God and man. This mediator make the, made the way for you and for me. Now, we don't need anything else except the way with the person of Christ. He added, and having high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith. Why? I am in the way. 
That's why the church is telling us the beginning is to be baptized, to confess and profess Christ as the Lord and to repent and then to walk into the church, to be united in the way. That's why St. Paul was accused in Acts chapter 24 and 25 that he was teaching the way and he was following the way. Then the question for you and me, are we in the way, preaching the way, walking the way in the person of Christ? Again, it's not about complicated theology. It's the simplicity of Christ. I came to unite you all in me. I have told you these things that you may have peace in me. Every time we come to the church, we are united with the whole life of Christ, the incarnated word of God, the one who was transfigured in the Mount Tabor, the one who was crucified, the risen Lord, the ascended Lord. That's why we hear it in the liturgy of St. Gregory. You lifted our first fruit into heaven. What is our first fruit? Our humanity in Christ has a place in heaven. And what is really amazing that the church is bringing all these things in two sentences. And sometimes we can pick up that through the incarnation, we are in the way. Through the incarnation, we are in the written Lord. Through the incarnation, we are one with him in everything. Hear what we pray in the church and we pray every liturgy during the resurrection time. He lifted his saints up with him and gave them a gift to his father. Why? Because I am in the way. There's only one way to the father. He told us in chapter 6 today and verse uh, the, the following word, verse 7. So how to be in the way? He lifted his saints up with him. We are united with him. In the end of the liturgy, I will be in the way. I will be lifted up with him and give them as gifts to his father. You are a gift to the father by the son. Do you believe it? Do you enjoy it? That you have been made a gift because you are in the way. But in sincerity, in reality, Ask yourself, when it was your last time to repent and confess your sins? When was your last time to sit with yourself and to find out and to examine yourself? St. Paul tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5, examine yourselves. What is the other option? You are disqualified. If you are not able to examine yourself and to find out where you are, you might be disqualified. Then we added, through his tasting of this for us, he saved those who are alive and reposed those who have died. How? And we too, who were sitting in the darkness for a season, he granted us the light of the resurrection. I need the light of the Through what? Through his holy incarnation. What? Road incarnation into the direction. It's one life. From day one, since the Annunciation, we are waiting for the way. The way ended with the ascension of our Lord and sending his Holy Spirit. But without the Annunciation, the Incarnation, he took everything and became like us, except sin, we, go, we get nothing. That's why it's the whole life of Christ. Let me remind you again with 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 10. St. Paul is assuring you and me that the life of Christ, what is the life of Christ? Everything, his Annunciation, his incarnation, transfiguration, everything till his ascension may be manifested in your own mortal bodies. When you go to go home after the liturgy, you are going with the whole life of Christ. You are in the way. The way is in you. The way is abiding in you, and you are abiding in this way. When we refresh our minds with our new reality, it's not a theory, it's not something nice to hear in the church, it's our new reality. When we Praise the Lord and sing for him in the coming few minutes in the liturgy. Put in your mind that he told us he lifted his saints you up with him and gave them as a gift to his father. He granted us the light of his resurrection through his holy incarnation. May all the life of Christ be manifested in you and in us all. And the glory be to God forever and forever and ever. Amen.